What's up gamers, welcome back to the video. In today's video, we're going over how to play Twitch in Rainbow Six Siege. Before we go any further, links to all my socials in the description below, so make sure you go check those out. Now this video is coming in from IWNL Mints, who basically said, Great video, could you also make a video on Twitch? So this one's for you. If anybody else has any video recommendations or anything they'd like to see, make sure you leave them in the comments below. But today, we're going to be going over Twitch. Now, Twitch has arguably one of the best guns in the game, the F2. However, her DMR, the 417, is also really, really good. And this sounds kind of lame, but it has really low bloom, pretty much. So you can drop shot with it super easily. It has a stupid amount of damage. It has a three time scope, little recoil, 20 shots. It's really good, so definitely don't sleep on it. But the F2 also has a super fast fire rate, the 1.5 um, time sight. Low recoil because of the 1.5 and also high damage, so either one you can choose. Um, the shotgun's also really good, but it's kind of a meme cannon, so you can use it if you want. It is solid, but I recommend either the 417 or F2. For the pistols, the P9 is really good. Uh, the revolver has lots of damage, but high, uh, really high recoil, but the P9 is really solid. Any of the breaching charges or a claymore is pretty much preference. It's up to you. Personally, I like breaching charges. Um, but like I said, it's up to you. Now with Twitch, her special ability are these shock drones. They basically have infinite shocks. Um, they destroy things like cameras, disable maestro cams, and then can also destroy them, disable pretty much. They're basically like Thatcher drones. They can disable and destroy pretty much any gadget. Um, very useful. They do recharge. It takes about, I'd say, 20 seconds for each charge to recharge. And she can hold up to three charges per time. But basically, the reason why you want to save your drone is because they are very useful. For example, on the map of Oregon, I chose this map for a reason. Lots of times in the basement objective, people will hold elbow or kind of just like this little corner inside of blue bunker with lots of ADSs or my magnets or pretty much any type of anti-projectile utility. And it's very important to be able to clear that. And especially if Thatcher's banned, um, and you don't have a lot of flashbangs. Lots of times people will put an ADS maybe right here or another one maybe right here. And what you can easily do is you open up this door, uh, for example, and then you just throw your drone in. And then while your drone is in the building, you can shoot the ADSs, any of my magnets, maybe a Valcam, Lesion Mine, um, Echo Cam. You don't want a drone with your drones, really, because they aren't drones. They are, like I said, Thatcher drones, and you want to save them for clearing utility. Um, even... I feel like for this example, it's mainly going to be about clearing the ADSs and my magnets simply because to get stuff off of the wall, you will most likely need to go either around pillar to get off of the e-box wall. But if you want to get it off of this uh, like laundry rotate wall, you would go through the drone hole. There'd be a rotate here and hopefully you can either shoot the bandit or Cade. But I feel like you don't want to pick like if Thatcher's available, pick Thatcher 100% over Twitch. The L85 or AR33 are fine weapons. Um, he has breaching charges or a claymore, so the same there, and his pistol's fine as well. But also, his gadget is just a lot more reliable. With Twitch, you need to maneuver all the way around through bodies, through barbed wire, through mozzie pests, mute jammers, anything like that. And if it gets caught in a mute jammer, there's nothing you can do about it. Or with a Thatcher grenade, you just stand out here. You maybe throw an EMP right there, disable all of the projectile denial, throw an EMP at the wall, and then you can open it just like that. Super easy. Now with Twitch, the actual playstyle herself, she is kind of like a Ash, to be honest, with more utility. Um, they both clear utility because basically, like I've said multiple times, with the Thatcher drones. So once you clear the utility, you can play Twitch with her super strong guns, either the F2 or the 417. And you can run in and play her like an entry frag. She needs a two speed. That's why I also do like uh, bringing the breaching charges to open up walls or hatches or floors and go for kills. Um, if you have the 417, you might want to play a little bit more passively, hold more angles just because of the fire rate of it. It's not usually in this game, fire rate wins a lot, which is why the F2 is super good. It's like Ella's gun or the Vector, just with the 1.5 times and more damage uh, and less recoil. So it's basically a better, ve uh, better Vector, better Ella gun. Um, it only has 26 shots though, which is kind of not super great, but because of how strong the weapon is, it is kind of balanced. You want to prioritize what you use your shock drones for, right? If there's a goo mine in the middle of the floor here, and you need to get like a mute jammer or two ADSs or something and a Wamai, don't shoot this lesion mine that's right here, because you can easily just shoot it with your gun. You want to prioritize the things that are more difficult to get, like uh, ADS around a corner or pretty much anything like that. Something that you don't want to risk yourself for, like you don't want to wa uh, walk in here and back up and try and shoot a Wamidas because you're exposed to the guy elbow, you're exposed to pillar door. Rather, you just throw your drone 
back onto this wall like I did at the beginning, and then you can just shoot this stuff safely. Obviously, with your Twitch drones, like I said uh, also at the beginning, you, you really can't be droning people with them, because if your drone gets shot or your drone gets destroyed, then you lose your utility, and the utility usually you bring a Twitch if that's your Kali are unavailable or you don't bring one of them. So using that, losing that utility is very, very crucial and very important. Uh, she is also really good for countering mirrors. One shock of her uh, Twitch drone to one of the mirror window canisters can destroy it. So yeah, that's pretty much all she's used for is clearing utility. And then she's almost like a maverick or just like any support, really. Once you clear the utility or open the wall or do whatever, you can then kind of turn into an entry frag and she has good enough guns to do that. But that's pretty much all safe for Twitch. Quickly recapping, use your drones for clearing utility, um, like hard utility, like bandit batteries, K charges, ADSs with my magnets, anything like that. Make sure you don't drone with your Twitch drones because they're really important to keep alive to clear that utility. Unless, of course, nobody has any more drones. Uh, so you do want to be saving your drone, taking it back to spawn in prep phase so it doesn't get shot. That's pretty much all to say. If you enjoyed or learned something new, remember to like and subscribe. All my socials are linked in the description below. Make sure you check those out. Thank you for watching and peace out, gamers.